happy Friday, or good whenever you're watching this video. Um, I'm filming it in the afternoon. So, good afternoon. Um, I'm Edith Marie, aka Short Girl, and today I thought it would be fun to talk to you guys about books, because, uh, well, duh, that's what that ch this channel's about. It's about books. Um, before we start, I'd like to apologize a little bit for how my voice may sound in this video. I'm having an allergic reaction to something, um, and as you may be able to tell, my forehead's kind of like weird and bumpy, and also like my, my throat is funny. So um, if I sound a little different, I'm not dying. That's just how it is. But anyways, so like I said, we talk about books, and I recently got a bunch of new books. Um, there's a vlog coming out on Monday where you will, um, nope, nope. The vlog that just came out this past Monday, sorry, brain scramble. The vlog that came out this past Monday, um, I went to boo bookstores, two bookstores and a conference. Um, so I have some new books and also my sister gave me some books. So I have lots of things to share with you guys. So first, as some of you may remember from the vlog that I posted this past Monday, um, I went to a bookstore called Fountain Bookstore in Richmond, Virginia, and they have one of the blind date with a book things. And this is the book I got. It's called Jitterbug Perfume. It's a fantasy book from the 80s. I think it's gonna be my next read. Right now I'm reading a book for school. Um, Cause I have, I'm very, we have a quiz on it in the very first day and I'm very stressed. Um, school being college. Yeah, in case you guys are new here, I am in college. Um, um, and but this is gonna be my next read. I'm really excited. I love the 80s. It is my absolute favorite era when it comes to fashion, music, you know, all kinds of culture. So I am so excited to read this book. The cover is also really cool. Like I like the font and like the red and the checkered pattern. Oh yes. So next up, I have one of the books that my sister gave me. This book is Vinegar Girl by Ann Tyler. And it says that it's a retelling of Shakespeare's play, Taming of the Shrew, um, which I will admit um, is not my favorite Shakespeare play. Um, I took a Shakespeare class in high school and um, we read over half of Shakespeare's work. And I'd also already read this one, a, like a different year in high school, um, this one being Taming the Shrew. And while I really love the um, 90s movie based on it, 10 Things I Hate About You, mostly because I hate, I love Heath Ledger. I don't really love the play just because, um, I don't know, I just don't, but it's a pretty good play. Um, I read the first few pages of this book, um, as you can see I've kind of bookmarked like right there, and um, I think I'm gonna have to get farther into it. Right now I'm not a huge fan of the main character, but maybe, you know, I'm still in the first few pages, so maybe her narrative voice will change. So here's another book from my sister. This one is Damsel by Elena K. Arnold. Um, the cover for this is really cool. It reminds me a lot of a similar book done by the same publisher, which is probably why the covers are similar. Um, but it's called Damsel, like I said. And I love um, like fantasy novels that have like princes and princesses. Especially like this new wave of like having princesses that like can do it all themselves. Big fan of that. So I'm really excited to read this one. It it just it's so cool. And there are dragons. I mean, what more could you want? So the next book is the last one that my sister gave me. And this is called Don't Feed the Trolls by Erica Kudish. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, the cover of this one is very cool to me. It's a lot about um, identity in terms of like gender identity and sexuality and stuff. Um, and it also involves like nerds, which is exciting. Um, and like conventions. So I'm excited to read this one. It's definitely different than what I read normally, but um, I hope I will enjoy it. So the other bookstore I went to when I went to Richmond was one called Never Enough Books, which in the vlog I had said it was like the longest bookstore in the world. And I got this book from the poetry section. It's Saint Nobody by Amy Lemon. Um, he had like a bunch of like, um, old books and stuff. This is from 2009 though. It's a book of poetry and it seems really cool. Oh, I just realized he gave me a little bookmark. The, yeah, the, just it, like, I'm, get, I'm gonna make a blog post about Never Enough Books, but just in case you are ever in Richmond and you want to go, the man there that runs it is so nice. Um, so he's very cool, his store is very cool. Um, I, I really am excited for this book. I just flipped through it and all of the poems looked really good, really thoughtful, really amazing. 
And also, like, the writer, she does kind of the poems where, like, you space things out in different ways to mean different things. And that has always been really cool to me. So I am excited. I mean, I've read a bunch of these already because, like, I got it. Because I was like, wow, these poems are great. Um, so I'm very pumped to read all of them. I've already been sending a bunch to my friends who like poetry and stuff and being like, oh, this poem is so cool. Oh, this poem is so cool. Um, but I'm really excited. So the last book I have is actually one I got at the conference. Um, so there are lots of like, you know, soci it's a sociological conference that I present at. And there are lots of um, sociologists there and they like have published books and they have books from different fields. Um, and so my dad got me this book, which is really exciting. Um, cause I was, he, I, he saw that I was interested in it. It's called Introducing Social Theory, third edition. It's by Pip Jones and Liz Bradbury. So this is a nonfiction book. Um, it's so glossy. So this is about social theory and sociology. Um, so it's got lots of things. Marxism, um, like functionalism, religion and society, symbolism, feminist theories, social structures, all these things. I'm very excited to learn more stuff. Um, I've been presenting at this conference for several years now, um, and it is actually like intended, <laughs> I'm the youngest person to ever present, it is intended for not high schoolers. I just graduated from high school. Um, so I have not actually ever taken a sociology class. I just really like doing research. And I applied and they said I could present. So I mean, who's gonna stop me? Nobody. <laughs> um, so, but it's been nice to like learn. I've been learning more about social theory as I go, kind of absorbing it through osmosis. The mo at this meeting, as you may have seen in the blog, I learned about neoliberalism, which is my absolute like new thing. I want to analyze it. I want to learn about it. I want to put it in the brain cavity. It's pretty cool. Um, so I'm very excited to have this book. Well, that is all for this week's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what books I got recently. Can't wait to read them all and put knowledge in my brain. Um, tomorrow is a very exciting day, which you will see in the vlog posted next Monday, which is in three days. Um, because tomorrow, like, not tomorrow when I'm filming, because obviously I'm not filming this, like, on Friday, but tomorrow being the day after this is posted, um, I am moving to college, which you will see in the vlog on Monday. I am so excited about. Um, I went to a residential high school, for those of you that are new here, so moving into a dorm is not that new and different for me, but I'm just very excited to be in a dorm in college, so like I'm a real adult now. Can't wait to learn the college things. Um, so it's gonna be really fun. If you liked this video, make sure to like it. Um, please leave a comment if you feel so inclined. It would be very cool. Also, if you would subscribe because, you know, subscribers. What you gonna do? I'm not very good at this end of video part. Um, and don't forget, I have a vlog. It is short girl, I mean a, a vlog. This is a vlog. I have a blog, which is shortgirlrides.wordpress.com and I post there every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Unless I accidentally forget, which I sometimes do on Wednesdays. Sorry about that. Um, and I also have an Instagram at short underscore girl underscore rights. You guys should check that out too. I post a fair amount, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a good day, weekend, life, whatever. Um, deuces!